people of the World Wide Web. So it's a little impromptu video. I just literally had the postman post something through and I know you're gonna to start to see videos of this spammed everywhere. So I'm trying to get this video up and out as quick as possible. So yes, I've had this package. This has come from Xavi and this should be a new release. It shouldn't be released till Monday. But we're gonna get into it anyway. Um, this won't potentially be the first edition you will ever see me show, but this is my favourite movie, and this is The Crow. So it is the special edition, 30th anniversary. Now, this is... <laughs> this is the thing. I, um, I've ordered two editions, and I did want to keep one of them sealed... But do I? Don't I? Who knows? Um, what is it? So yeah, so you can see the tech specs have turned on there. Um, with a few, I mean, overall the quality of the J card looks quite nice. Um, or is it like a? Actually, it's a sleeve rather than a J card. It looks. Oh no. Let's open it up. I am. Um, I'm never really going to sell this because it's my favourite movie. So we shall get the wrapping off. Um, as I took the wrapping off, I bent the J card. That's always a good, <laughs> it's a good start, unfortunately. So be careful if you want that. So it looks like there is a J card. How is it stuck? So it has two bits of glue either there. That is it, and then we have the steel book itself. So very nice. I mean, I know I think AJ said it, but it's not like it, but obviously it's the cry face, and then as you scroll out, there it is. So that's just to give you a, the sleeve. There is obviously the crow symbol in the front. It has the crow symbol down the side with the face of Eric Draven. Uh, So there we go. So that is the front cover, the Eric Draven picture in the mask. And then obviously the flame crow that is um, ignited at the police scene where I, f is it fun boy goes off the pier. Um, and then we have the inside. So first, it does, oh, maybe this, is the, okay, this is the edition that comes with the post nuts. So this is the one I did want to open. So, okay, so we are, that's quite good. So first we have the 4K edition, very nice. Then you have the Blu-ray Dolby Surround. Is it Surround? A Dolby Audio, sorry, not Surround. Then you have the kind of drawn picture of the crow um, there, which incorporates like Eric Draven's eyes and something there. So quite nice, obviously that's an overview of the back and that's an overview. I mean, I do like the, that with the sleeve, I think is a really nice image. Um, I can't remember. We get a poster with it. So we shall open this. So there it is. I will stick that up on my wall because it deserves to be. So that's where that will go. Um, obviously this is for me to watch and view the other version. I, I potentially will keep it. And then obviously we have pictures. So this is where um, Tintin fights Tintin and grabs the knife. Um, victims, aren't we all? Uh, I have this toad on me because it shows. So then we have him where he jumps up on the table with the gang. This is close to the scene of, unfortunately, where Brandon Lee was fatally shot and killed um, in the movie. And then this is more of a close-up of his demonic scary face um so uh, there are sayings so it's all so this is already boring the shit out of me kill him and then we have is that gasoline i smell before obviously he torches the um car so only three cars i'm surprised they could have done with a few more um Obviously, I like that they added sayings on it. Um, I would like, I'll say my favourite one I've got tattooed here is it can't rain all the time. I would have liked them to include that. But, you know, you can't have everything. I mean, I quite like the worn effect. 
Um, but I mean, like for three quid more, for I think 30 quid was the standard version, and obviously um, this version costs 33 or 34 pound, I think, for a few free cards and a poster. That, <laughs> that's not too big of a difference. So, yes. So, let's put it all back. Um, I look forward to definitely revisit this. I mean, I don't visit this, revisit this movie that much just because I have such an appreciation of it. Um, I think if I watched it like hundreds and hundreds of times, I could run the risk of just boring myself to death with it. Um, whereas just watching it when and as I feel means you get a bit more of an enjoyment over it. So that's nice as he slides his eyesight in. That is kind of a, almost Apache. I mean, this would have been quite a nice um, symbol or, or design that they could have used for Prey. I think that could have been quite a good idea. And then the J card goes over the top like that. So yes, this is my 4K version of the Cry 30th edition. I say apologies, you're probably going to see hundreds and hundreds of these all over the internet. I'm trying to get this one out as quick as possible. I'm um, just giving you an insight. Obviously, it's my favourite movie, so I do have the Blu-ray. I have now one 4K. I do have a second 4K coming, uh, but that's because I couldn't decide between the two of them. And obviously, I'll put the posters and stuff up. Hope you've enjoyed this little video. I've been Cypher for Sigma Screen Time. Do you like this movie? Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I shall see you in the next one.